your perfect sacrifice in Christ should have taken away your sin, sir. You've heard the uproar, the dust up about Kurt Franklin and his rap cipher before the BET Hip Hop Awards. I want to take a second to look at it and give just my perspective on what actually is the problem. I've heard a lot. Just got back from Bali. I'm one of God's kids. Never thought I'd make it this far, but God did. Whom shall I fear since the most high brought me? Since I've been 150, tried to rob me. He can't cause God's got me. See, I'm God's property. Jesus is prodigy. Dope as ever, probably. Always scared character. Church to make some characters that categorically deny God's character. I don't mean to preach. Just trying to make you think. I was a dirty bitch, now me and God in sync Like Big and Jay and Oz, the great escape of both The lion and the lamb, we'll bow down to the goat Now I don't wanna make no more mistakes with my kids You heard the mixtape my son put out, Kirk did So if the cypher don't take away from my sins Which could probably take away from my ends Tell my wife and my friends that we win, that end I'm a fighter, shout out to the Holy Yo, Kirk There friend. you have it, that is the uh the rap cipher, you heard it. The lion and the lamb bow down to the goat. I know you've already parsed that. I know you've already heard at least three other people give their perspective on it. And I agree. That's inappropriate. I, that's inappropriate. However, this is something I need you to consider about Kurt Franklin. When Kurt Franklin came out, he started a whole bunch of brouhaha as it relates to his, his, his style, his approach, all that kind of stuff like that, because up to that point, what Kurt Franklin brings to the Christian church had not really been seen in church on a grand scale. There have been like little small chitlin circuits, little small bush league, but nobody like Kurt Franklin at that moment. He really was a trailblazer. Let's just give him props for that. One of the big issues that I think many people give Kurt too much pass on is the fact that Kurt Franklin is Lucy goosey with Bible. He's extremely loose, very loose with the scriptures. And I think the whole idea of the lion and the lamb bowing down to the goat is a perfect example. Like you're so loose with the scriptures that you don't realize that you are saying the lion and the lamb, which represents Christ bowing down to the goat, goats being in scripture, a representation of those who are not saved. I understand what you might have been trying to say, but it didn't even make sense. Like when you write it out, it doesn't make sense. Like if the lion and the lamb is God and goat being the greatest of all time should have been Christ, then that makes no sense. But then if goat being lowercase g, the animal, that still didn't make any sense. What were you doing? But this has been Kurt's problem for as long as he's been on platform. He's extremely loose with scripture. He's extremely flippant or reckless with scripture. He does not revere God's word. He does not treat it like this is important. It is a, and he mentioned it. I thought it was interesting. He he, he riffs off of Kanye West when he says, uh, uh, if this doesn't pay for my sins, I'll, it'll take from my ends. Do you want your cipher to really pay for your sins? Why, why would you even say that? I understand Kanye West said, and we can have a whole nother discussion about Kanye West. You saying that as a whole grown man, supposed to be a Christian, professing Christian, sir, that's reckless. Kurt Franklin does, does not draw any lines with culture. Culture influences how he raps, how he sings, how he performs, not the other way around, not scripture informs these things. No, it is culture that does it. And let me prove to you one more time. Let's just look at this video one more time. Tell me anyway, looking at him, why would you think if there was no volume, there's no volume right now, why would you think that that was a Christian artist? If you didn't know who Kirk Franklin was, he's got a Louis Vuitton sweater on. He's standing there doing exactly what you would see any other rapper doing. Why would you believe that was a Christian? The culture influences Kurt too much. And I think that that is part and parcel why he said the lion and the lamb bow down to the goat because he's so loose with scripture. 
I'm not denying the man's salvation. I'm not saying the man is not a believer. What I am saying is that he's too flippant and too reckless with God's word. Why would you say that your cipher will pay for your sins? Do you think God needs you to rap? I, I don't even understand what he meant. I want to go back and we're going to listen to it again. Being the fact that he, he's going to shout out a whole bunch of the culture influences Kurt Franklin far more than scripture. Prove me wrong. Dopest ever probably always scared character. The dopest ever, probably. And oh, before he said that he was Jesus's prodigy. I was a dirty dish. Now me and God in sync. How are we in sync with God? He was a dirty dish. Now me and God in sync. I understand. He's. I understand. He's. He's being creative. And some of these impressive. Let's just, I'm not going to take away from that. But they're reckless, inappropriate. They're not reverent to the God that saved you. And I believe that's part of what. Kurt's biggest Achilles heel has been is that he's reckless with his appreciation and um, reverence to God. He's he's just reckless. Like Big J and Nas, the greatest kick of both. Wait, wait. So he, he's he's gonna quote out Biggie J and Nas. Okay, rappers. They're not Christian by any means, shape, or form. Continue. The lion and the lamb will bow down to the goat. Who is the goat then? If the lion and the lamb is definitely a term synonymous for Christ, then who is the goat? You just literally named three of your favorite secular rappers, Biggie, Nas, and Jay. Who are you talking to, sir? That's recklessness. I don't want to make no more mistakes with my kids. You heard the mix that my son put out. Kirk did. That whole situation, yo, that whole situation with his son, that was extremely heartbreaking. As a black man who doesn't have any sons, I only got two daughters. It was heartbreaking to hear the relationship between Kurt Franklin and his son. I'm not going to touch that. I pray for him. I pray for his son that they are able to not only to find healing between them in the physical, natural sense, but they, they will find healing and restoration in Christ. Yeah. So if the cipher don't take away from my sins, why should this cipher take away from your sins? Your perfect sacrifice in Christ should have taken away your sin, sir. Uh, there's nothing that you can do. Your cipher, trust me, God ain't sitting there bobbing his head saying, oh, yeah, I'm about to get that. I'm about, yeah, yeah, get that guy. Right. No, 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 no. Why should your cipher take away from your sins? Reckless. This is reckless Christianity. This is why they think that we don't take it seriously. Kurt Franklin demonstrates what? many people see as Americana Christianity. They see as lukewarm Laodicean Christianity. And that's why many people don't want nothing to do with it because of this kind of stuff that we allow that stuff to propagate, be played in our churches, bumped in our cars and all that kind of stuff. And we treat it, we treat God recklessly. And I, I, don't, I don't think Curtin realizes it. I'm going to assume that he doesn't know that he's he's presenting a Christ, presenting a Christianity that does not save. That he's presenting a Christianity that's muddled at best. That 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 marries the culture and scripture. That merges the sufficiency of the sacrifice of Christ and whatever you can do. I don't think he realizes that.